Alright folks, we continue on with more of Paper Mario Color Splash. We've already completed Ruddy Road, and now we move on to this area right here, Cherry Lake. So let's get ourselves started, shall we? As always, special thanks to Nintendo for providing me a copy of this game. And we're gonna be in for quite a ride. I can tell for certain this playthrough will be a long one. Whoa, look at that! You saw it too, right? A toad just fell off that airship! He must have fallen somewhere in this lake. I hope he's okay. We should go look for him. Good idea. Now if only we can be able to find a way. Guess not. There's something stuck to the other side. I don't think we can open it from here. We really need to get in there. Huey, not to offend, but I'm always open to suggestions. If we can just get on top of those blocks, we should be able to drop down on the other side. Wait a minute! Yes! There's a clear line! Alright Mario, I'm gonna teach you a mind-blowing technique. Watch closely. There, see this line on the gate? Looks like stairs, right? When you see clear lines like this in this world, you can use the cutout technique. Go ahead, press Y. Bam! That dotted line there! That's what I'm talking about! We can use this power to transcend dimensions and cut out part of the background! Get cutting, Mario! We stepped out of our dimension. How's my lid feel? Comfy? Okay, now start from the bright shining point and trace along the dotted line to cut it out. That's some quality cuttage! This flag is the goal! You know what to do! That's gonna help! You did it! That's the cutout technique! When you see other places where it seems like you could cut something, try pressing Y. If you see a dotted line appear, that means you can use cutout. Alright, let's drop down on the other side gate and look for that fallen toad. Before we do that, let's open the way. Good! Onwards! And this place seems a little too quiet for our taste. Or not, considering we gotta beat with these clowns. Oh goody, we got shy guys. I'm not worried about it one bit. Let's go. Like that. Drain the color out of you, right? Now buzz off. And that pretty much takes care of it. Groovy, our max paint's now up to 180. Impressive. More paint means that we can be able to do things that we can't. Excellent. Finding these worn out jump times three are pretty beneficial. As well as this. What's your problem, bud? You don't want to stack up with us? Ooh, I bet you think you're so cool being a single shy guy. We're only rolling four deep. We need one more to be a five stack, yo. Enough talk. Stack them, boys. Christ, he ran away. Uh, check out the ratty mustache on this one stack over here. Ha, <laughs> looks like your upper lip found a tanuki suit. Stack this clown. Oh, goody. Oh, they like doing that, huh? Okay. Okay, you asked for it. Let's go. Let's jump them down to size. Yeah, wipe. 
Go away. Jerk. At least we won't have to deal with him anytime soon. Alright, onwards we shall go. So much for the shy guy. Now he's a hop slipper. Uh, I know you're supposed to be the enemy of stuff, but thanks for scrapping those guys. I might be all soggy now, but I'd rather be soggy than be stacked with them. They say that one guy can't make a difference, that I should just be another cog in the machine. But I don't care what they think. I'm living my life as a single layer of shy guy awesomeness. You know, for a shy guy, you're all right, kid. Oh, scrap, a talking paint can? I must have hit my head harder than I thought. You better take this before I pass out. Nice! Whoa, whoa! What a gift! Your card slack's increased. You can now play an additional card during your turn in battle. In other words, you can play two cards per turn now. Thanks, Shy Guy. Wait, where'd he go? Hey, losers! Come stack with us, that'll be fun! Not just fun, studies show that stacking groups of five can increase HP and lower cholesterol. Oh, look! Two Shy Guy four stacks right on cue! Let's experiment with that second card slot. Set two cards at once and unleash mayhem, Mario. Consider it done! And considering I'll need a little something, let's do it. Flip, flip. Or just flip once. Okay. Yeah, see ya. Dork. So much for them. Nice, that gives us a nice boost. And now with two guard stacks, now we can actually fight better in battle. What's this? These must be his shoes. Excellent. Nah, just more green. I need more red. It's nothing out of the ordinary here. Yeah, whacked. Trapped like a shell, doesn't it? Now let's choose our our jump. Like, here we go. Now we got it. Click, and let's give him the pain. And he's gone. Come here. Nice. And if we keep on going, this can help us out considerably. Excellent. This will be beneficial. Alright, let's head upwards and see if we can find anything. Good. And we got the KO hammer. And now we head to the bottom side. Yeah, no, you're not gonna do that crap. Or I mean crock. Sorry, guys. Yeah, today's been kind of an off day for me. Cards ready? Flick, let's give him heck. Although by this point, the game has already been out, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about Paper Mario Color Splash. At least, thankfully, it's way better than Sticker Star. A lot better, honestly. Another enemy card. Oh, goody! Brings us the soggy guys. You can tell how they look like because of all the color bleached out. I only need one to do my job. Yeah, you can choose like up to two cards, but you don't want to waste too many. And I'll also make a note to stock up as much as I can. 
Excellent. Good. A lot of red, and we'll need it. Wait, there's something there. Let's check this out. Now nah, we gotta wait for it to drop down. Excellent. All right. And these must be his pants. No, we have to wait. We gotta wait for the water to rise and then like drop down, I guess. And look at how the water moves around the side. It moves like a streamer or something. What do you expect in the world of Paper Mario? And goody! More people want to try and stop us. Yep, it's the Soggies. And it's not like Soggies are going to do any better. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it'd be fair I could have relied on hammers. Nice. Done and done. Good. There's a toad clean to that tree! Do you think that's a toad fell out of the airship? It looks like he can get blown away any second. Let's go help him. Good idea. Where did he come from? Though we must move quickly. Besides, I only need one. Like that. Yeah, now buzz off. I'm lucky I'm not getting blown away. Enemies flying out of the blue and moving out of the way. I'm not getting near that. There it is. Hello. Now let's get that cleaned up. Yeah, and I'm using my finger to do this. And it is also, you're not seeing this, but you're actually seeing Mario reaching from one side of the area to the next. Like that. And now you're gonna see the results. Nice. First things first, let's give new life back to this area. Good, nice flower. That'll help. Wow, and I thought I was your biggest fan, Mario. Your non-flat objects like this are called things. And just like when I turn flat, these things can be wrung out. So go ahead and press A to give it a good squeeze. And at least the one good thing about it is that you can actually get your paint back. Nice, we got a fan. The blades inside rotate at high speed to create a nice breeze. Nice. And now we have a second bridge formed. Good. Most impressive. Now let's check up on that toad. What's up with him? Mario, thanks for the save. Too bad you couldn't save my dignity. You're the toad who fell from the airship, right? I'm glad you're not hurt, but uh, you seem more naked than your average toad. My clothes fell off when I fell from the airship. I wanted to teach these paint-stealing villains a lesson, so I jumped on their ship. But that thing is faster than it looks. I was hanging on for dear life, and my grip finally gave out. But mark my words, I will deliver swift toad justice to those filthy paint pilfers. For I am the toad who casts light on the shadows of injustice. 
I am dun dun na na. Justice Toad. Justice Toad. Uh, is this guy for real? How do you say that with a straight face? I assure you, there is no face traitor. I am the hero that Prism Island needs. But before I can save the world, I'll need to comply with public indecency laws. You think you can go find my clothes, pretty please? Justice Toad, huh? Well, I guess we can't abandon you in your time of need. Besides, if you catch a cold, it's gonna save the world. We're on the case. Good. Back to the game we go. And yeah, getting that fan wasn't easy. Now let's give life to this block. And we get a KO hammer. Excellent. Soggy guys. Fine, I may as well just take advantage of this and use hammers. Let's go. I'm alright with it. But I gotta make sure I stock up every chance I get. Wow, I got a red Shy Guy card. Nah, you're not doing that, pal. Buzz off. And he's brought a friend. How appropriate. Now let's see how this is gonna work. Let's do it. Yeah, that was painful, wasn't it? That's groovy. I'm actually getting the hang of this now. And if you can tell just by looking, it looks like a shy guy's face. And it is. Well, I'm gonna fix that. Now that's awesome. And we get three worn out hammers. Excellent. Very excellent. And I figured they would have something to do with this. No, no tricks. Just a beatdown is what you get. And it turns out he's not alone. How appropriate. Wait. There you go. Now let's deliver it to him. And maximum amounts of pain. And I had no idea Cooper Shells could actually do that. You're supposed to jump afterwards? That's lame. That was mad lame right there. Nice. Worn out jump times three. Hmm, what's this? Well, I'll have to wait and see when I get up there. But for now... Yeah, whack on the back of the head! And he run along friends. I'm only gonna need one hammer for it. Or a set. That's one. At least grade's good enough, but trying to get excellence is a bit tight. And difficult for that matter. Oh good, we got a blue shot guy. Good, that's gonna help us. Now let's see if we can be able to bring life back to this place. Yo, deuce, eat this! And he's solo. Good. Then I just only need to use one item and we'll be done. No. Uh-uh. Much better. Good. One item's all one item's all I require. Done. That wasn't so bad. Pause off, guys. And not even close. 
I mean, come on, really? Jeez. And hopefully with this, this should give this area some more life. Excellent. Now everything should be the way it, the way it was. And unfortunately, Paper Mario cannot go on water. This isn't like regular Mario Brothers, though. We'll just have to do things the old-fashioned way. Wait. Good, we got his vest back. Now that we have... Wait. I think we're missing a few other items. Yeah, because our time here isn't done. But at least we gotta clean things up around here. There's a blue paint star as it is. But I got this weird feeling we're missing something. Nah, I think we're good as we are for the time being. Let's just head back to the toad and give him his stuff back. Besides, maybe he can help us with our problem. Who knows? So yeah, I really gotta admit, this game's actually pretty fun. I really am enjoying Color Splash. And I'm going to have to make sure to get the, my review in along with Yokai Watch 2, which is why I've been spending a lot of time on. Okay, we got his shoes back. Mine always ride gravity boots. Using those, I can harness the power of gravity to stay on the ground. So, they're just normal shoes then. Here's your pants. Behold, the mega slendiferous tights, crucial for protecting my heroic hindquarters. Yeah, those are underwear. Just wearing two pairs of them. And your vest. Ah, oh, yes. That's my legendary chest armor, the Hyper Fabulous Jacket. Uh, that's just a normal vest, man. Yeah, we're missing one of the thing, so we're gonna have to head north to get it. Figures it would. And yeah. Journal of Justice. From the shadows of darkness, a hero rises to protect those who cannot protect themselves. This hero harnesses the power of justice to strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. Plus, it looks really, really cool and everyone wants to be best friends with him. When bad guys appear, he fights without fear. No surprise. Here comes a bad guy now. Let's see it like this. Hard cover justice missile. Yeah, your Justice Missile looks like Justice Garbage. I don't know if I find that rather funny. But whatever. I don't have that many cards left. I'll have to make sure to buy them when I get back. Let's go. Okay, that can do. At least getting grades is enough. Nice, the hero's journal. Now let's give him the last one and get it over with. Hopefully. Here, take your book. Ah, my heroic journal. That's uh, just something I was doodling. Don't worry about it. Ta-da! Behold my super justice suit. Now, stand back, citizen. Justice Toad, savior of Prism Island, has returned to crush evildoers. This is getting embarrassing. Don't hesitate to light the justice signal if you're needing help. Nothing lies beyond the reach of the long arm of justice. <laughs> Good one. If we end up meeting somehow, we'll be sure to ask you. Anyway, let's press on. We still got stuff to finish. But that Toad was just one weird dude. Yeah, you like to pull a cheap trick? Here's my cheap trick. And he's solo this time. Good. He needs a beating. Come on, now where is it? Where's the jump? There you go. 
Give it life. Give it a flick. And y'all know the thrill. Yeah, your history. And you're not gonna pull that old cheap trick behind my back thing. And this pretty much increases my paint. Nice. At least I opened my way through. Excellent. Nope, that's pretty much it, since it's a long way down, and I gotta wait. And I also gotta wait on the other side. Get my red. Look, it's a red mini paint star, so Cherry Lake does have one. How ironic. And you, you get whacked. Yeah, does it hurt? You're on your own, no one's gonna help you this time. Flick, let's get him. And yeah, I never bother trying to jump on him either. Good. That didn't take that long. And plus, with my paint at around 200, I can now be able to do a lot of work. Hopefully, this will make things a little easier for us. Now, the rest of the way is surprisingly blocked. Well, I wonder if this can mean something. Nope. Nothing of the sort. Come on. Yeah, if that way's blocked, there's... I don't know what we could do. Aha! Huh? Seems like we can use cutout here, but the scene doesn't quite connect. Might need to wait for everything to light up just right. Now! Now I got it! Yeah, timing's everything here. And done! That was pretty simple. Now let's head to the other side, get that mini paint star, and let's get out of here. Though I have a feeling we'll be back here soon enough. There you have it! Course clear! <sighs> that didn't take us that long. Yeah, I guess that isn't much. But it's now taken us to another location altogether. And yeah, that's going to be it for now. We still have to get the blue one, but we'll have to figure something out. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys next time. Special thanks to Nintendo for providing me a copy of this game. And yeah, peace out, everyone. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Later.